you. Kind sir. Will you help the poor? I show kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But Saint-Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Sir? It's just a the market. There's no left. Hello. Good to see you again. Hello, sir. Hey, Hello. Boy, you Best apples here. You worry about yourself. a worm in any of them. Yeah, you what do? can I get you today? Whoa, look down. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. There's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Uh, hello? Shh, cállate, cállate. Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Now, now don't worry. I'm on your side. Por, por favor. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards.
Good day for some shopping, eh? Welcome back, sir. Telegraph been humming, they say. I heard this too. Brother. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. An upside down M. I don't get it. Oh, you will. <coughs> it's like swimming. It takes time. But then it's easy. And the whole world opens to you. I hate this. It's too hard. Take your time. <laughs> I lit. I lit. Like. I like the soon. Soon. God damn it. What does that even mean? Watch your language, please. Summer. Summer. I like the summer. Don't worry. You know the letters. You know the sounds. You're nearly there. I got no use for stupid books. I don't have any use for stupid books. If you ain't, why are you making us do it? No, you should say, I don't have any, not, I got no. <laughs> I think you may be confusing things a little now, Brother Dorkins. <sighs> Go over it first in your head. Take your time. Partner? Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. <laughs> None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that'll work! Don't hurt him, please! Meet us at the cathedral, Mr. Morgan. Me. Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know. Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. <clears throat> hey. You want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey, I don't know you. This is house? No, not you. Get away. How? Now! I mean, I, hey, help! Uh, help! Hold on! This man is bothering now. me! Someone help me! Officer, help! <sighs>
this on purpose. You mind your business, I'll mind mine. Anyway, how's it all going for you? Well, anyway. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Take the place of sacrifice. And after all, isn't that the problem of most charities today? It's more about the giver feeling better about himself and the good of the receiver. Perhaps. But then should they not give it all? None of us are perfect or purely driven by good. Not even you, Sister Calderon. How is Brother Dorkins, by the way? I worry about that one. I feel, Father, Brother Dorkins is a simple soul. And sometimes a little abrupt in his methods. But what a soul. What fire. What truth burns in him. He... He's the one I want alongside when darkness comes. Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but... My mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins found him. I told you. Brother Dorkins was fantastic. They call it hard work, not hard work. You ain't my mother. 